Welcome back to another NFL video. The San Francisco 49ers had a huge win over the Miami Dolphins, but it felt more like a loss for 49ers fans as it came with losing Jimmy Garoppolo for the rest of the season with a broken foot. They also don't have Trey Lance, obviously, so what that's going to set up is Brock Purdy, the guy that was Mr. Irrelevant in the draft, is going to become very relevant because he's going to be their starting quarterback. He was a seventh round pick. He was far from a lock from making the team in preseason, but he is on the team for a reason. He impressed in preseason. He's on the roster. Now Kyle Shanahan and the 49ers will have the confidence in him to lead him for the rest of the season. So obviously when you're looking at this Jimmy Garoppolo injury, it's a devastating blow. It's a huge blow. He's been their guy. He's led them to a Super Bowl appearance in which some argue they should have won that. He led them to an NFC Championship last year and some argue they should have won that and went to the Super Bowl last year as well. So who knows what could have happened, but Jimmy G is their guy. But now they're going to have to move on. It's going to be Brock Purdy obviously it hurts their Super Bowl chances but we've seen crazier things before I think it's very safe to say and I'm going to be making the argument that there's not a better position to be in if you're a guy like Brock Purdy as a rookie trying to make it and trying to lead this team without a guy like Jimmy Garoppolo who has been so good and done nothing but win first of all the system Kyle Shanahan one of the better offensive minds in the league you know he's going to give confidence to Brock Purdy he's going to instill some confidence in him and put him in the best position to be successful and as far as weapons around him, you can't get much more than that. In the backfield, you have Christian McCaffrey. He could be a dual threat. He could be receiving as well. And then, obviously, all-pro wide receiver Debo Samuel. He can be in the backfield. He could be receiving as well. He'll play, play a huge part. George Kittle, not only is he going to be a big piece in the run game, but he's also an all-pro receiver for himself at the tight end position. He's going to be huge. And then, Brandon Ayuk, he has really developed into a really good wide receiver. He had some problems. He was in Shanahan's doghouse where he was kind of benched for a majority of the season to start last year, but now he is here and he is looking like a very good wide receiver. I think a lot of people have been impressed with Brandon Ayuk, including myself. So that's going to be the offense. So basically for Brock Purdy to lead this team, he just can't make the mistakes. He can't be turning the ball over. He's got to get it to his guys and just got to execute the game plan. Obviously, it's not going to be to the level that Jimmy Garoppolo does it, but there is a chance with a team this talented and as well coaches the 49ers that they can make it work. Now obviously it will be a big test when they're playing teams like the Eagles or the Vikings or the Cowboys teams like that in the playoffs and when they're on their way to get to the overall goal which is the Super Bowl but they have a team that is very supportive. Their defense is just incredible. They gave the Dolphins a lot of problems and not a lot of teams. Not really anyone has been able to give the Dolphins problems this year. This is the first loss that Tua Tagovailoa played the whole game. They were 8-0 in games leading up to that but their defense defense has just been ridiculous on all levels. They win the battles in the trenches. They have a good linebacker core, led by Fred Warner, one of the best linebackers in the game. Then their secondary is very good as well, but it helps for your secondary when you're getting rushing when you're able to rush the passer so well. Nick Bosa is now the leader in sacks for the league. He has 13 and a half currently as it stands after this week. So let me know what you guys think about this 49ers team. There's no denying Jimmy Garoppolo is a big blow, but I think they will still be okay. It's not like they're going to fall out of playoff contention or not be able to compete with playoff teams. It might hurt their Super Bowl chances a little bit. It definitely hurts their Super Bowl chances, but I think they'll definitely be fine in the regular season. I think they'll win the NFC West pretty handily if they're facing a team like the Seahawks in the NFC West, which would be their competition for winning the division. I think they'll be able to handle them. It'll be interesting when they get to the playoffs. It depends who they match up against, but they could do a lot of stuff without the quarterbacks because everything surrounding it is super stacked. Let me know your thoughts on the four 49ers without Jimmy G.